cheaper, but yeah, players, the value, the amount you can get them from varies from career mode to career mode. It just depends what the team wants and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't want to waste any time with that as well. I wanted to get him to the first team. I offered his value. So yeah, I don't see that as overpaying. Uh, that's my opinion. Sure, could get a bit cheaper, maybe a couple million cheaper, but in the whole scheme of things, a couple million... I probably wasn't going to do much with it. So, yeah, as long as he performs for me, that's all I care about. So, uh, I'll definitely look into that in the future, though. I'll be careful with players running out their contract uh, in under 12 months. Maybe I'll offer a couple million less than their value. So, yeah, thanks for giving me a heads up uh, for that. I'll definitely uh, take that into consideration for uh, future signings. But you look at Manchester United squad, or the starting 11 uh, for this game. Interesting that they are going with Andreas uh, Lindegaard instead of David De Gea. will be interesting to see if it makes an impact. But we've got Lucas Fabianski. Uh, I feel he's better than maybe a younger player with potential because he's going to perform right now. He's going to be a solid goalkeeper. Not world class, but he's going to be all right. And that's what's going my signing going to lead uh, I hope, anyway. I'm judging what Fabianski does this season. Uh, I might sign a replacement or just as a second goalkeeper uh, to have two quality, maybe a guy on a free transfer in January. Got to keep that in mind as well. If you have any ideas, drop in the comments. Because, uh, yeah, I do want to sign some players that you suggest because uh, that will keep you interested in watching, especially if it's like a player that's multiple times suggested because that's a lot of people wanting to see that player at this club. So... The hype is ready. Usually, I wouldn't show this much lead up, this much yeah, game highlights or whatever you call it, uh, like cutscenes. I like to do it at the start of a new season just to get the hype up. And yeah, can't get more hype than this Manchester United who sacked me. So absolutely huge. And you can see Joel Campbell early. Just look at this, just darting through the defense. Look at that pace and dribbling. Try to shots. He didn't get it on target, but that was so good. Uh, he showed confidence, and it just. He just ran past the Manchester United defence with ease. But now Wilfred Bonny is on just before the halftime break. Tries a shot. But you can really see uh, he can get past the defence with his strength. Uh, 94 strength is absolutely insane. And Joel Campbell, look at that again. This guy's going to be a star for us if he's doing this now. Imagine when he gets better. So he took a run again. And this time he was brought down, I believe that was by Raphael. But it was more like a fail. So <laughs> Raphael... Uh, what a mistake, Raphael. What was he doing there? He was just grabbing him. He was all over him. He First he was grabbing him, and then he went in for the tackle. Didn't get the ball. Just, like I said, it was a complete uh, fail uh, on that occasion. They're bringing uh, Fellaini off. Uh, definitely a more attacking substitution there. Bringing